welcome to the Dose of Bliss show today. I'm really excited. We have makeup mogul and influencer Nicole Faulkner, known as Lipstick Nick. And we also have her personal trainer, Kaylee Hatfield. She's also a professional dancer. I cannot wait to share their stories. We're going to be talking about Nicole's weight loss transformation to motivate you to be your best self. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Yay! Us too. You. Nicole, you've had an amazing weight loss transformation. What sparked you to get on this journey? Yeah, um, I, you know what, it's hard because I've always kind of been around, you know, people who were super in shape or working with dancers and talent, you know, and they have their own personal trainers and things like that. And it's just something that like, I guess I always just kind of told myself like, oh, I, I work behind the scenes. So nobody, it doesn't matter what I look like. Like I, as long as my talent looks good. And I was, you know, really in like that hustle mindset. Like when you first moved to LA and you're like, I got to take every job. And I was really like, now that I look back, I was really like burning myself out and I didn't give myself any time for me to really be my best self. So I was like every day, just like morning, noon and night, just working, working, working and taking all these jobs and crazy hours. And, and I wasn't getting enough sleep. I was eating whatever I could get at a drive through, like literally just, just enough to like wake up the next day and do it all over again, kind of a thing. And so I guess, um, yeah, within the past few years, I mean, now it's been about 11 years that I've been doing makeup professionally and working in the industry in LA and, I just kind of the past few years, I'm like, I need to take care of myself. Like, I don't feel my age. I could feel my body like shutting down. I was always tired and lethargic and yeah, I'm, I'm working, but like there's people who like have way more physical jobs than me that like are, have all this energy. And I would always look at them like, man, I mean, I know I'm standing doing makeup and running around and like on set and things, but I should have more energy, like more natural energy. So I think for me, once Kaylee really started getting into her like personal training and, you know, we've been friends for years. Like she's seen me at so many different phases of my life and I've seen her in different phases of hers. And I really just started to focus more on my own self and my own like happiness. And I felt like, yes, you know, I, I've done all these things and, and I, it's so great that people look up to me for so many different things in, in the industry. And, um, but I, I really had to sit back and be like, but am I proud of me? And like, do, am I good? Like mentally, physically, do I feel like proud of who I am right now? And I, I was with everything else, but I just really felt like I was like doing myself a disservice of not taking care of my body. And I just, I just didn't feel my age. I didn't feel like sexy. I, I mean, it's just, I always like, you know, love myself and I'm always proud of myself, but I didn't feel like this was my personal best. Like I was like, no, I feel, and I'm still, I'm still not there, but it was just, it took like this moment where I had to sit back and I'm like, I need to do something for myself that like is only going to affect me and like help me have more energy to then keep doing what I love to do. But I just wanted to see a major change. And so then Kaylee, like, kind of just randomly she's like well let's start training and it just was so like on a whim and I was like yeah let's just do it let's just okay let's do it like once a week and then we did it like once a week and then what did we move to two times a week yeah like I think every month we kind of increased it a bit it was once a week at first then we did twice a week then three and then just I want to say the beginning of this year is when we started to move to four right and then all this crap happened but yeah, yeah. But you still make it work. And, you know, it's interesting what you say because when people are manifesting, like you, like before this even started, Kaylee was saying, you're literally sitting in your manifestation. And when you see people who have achieved their goals and you watch from afar, you're like, how do you do it? But you don't realize you're sitting there working so hard and we forget to focus on taking care of ourselves. And when we aren't taking care of ourselves, it's exactly what you said. Like we do not have room to do more. There's only so much you can manifest before grow. And then you realize you're not taking care of yourself and you're wondering why you're getting burnt out. And that's really like the reason. So it's like amazing that you actually stop to figure that out. Cause like when one goal happens, like more and more comes and a lot of people get lost in that. Yeah, yeah totally. And like, I think for me too, it's just been a journey of like, I've kind of, I've always been super, I've always been tall. I'm like almost 5'10". So like my dad was six, seven. And like, I always have just been like the, the bigger girl. Like even when I was thin, I was just always bigger. And so like, I think I had this, I've always had this complex in my mind, like growing up, even like all through like, you know, elementary school and, and middle school, I was bigger than all the guys and all the girls. So I always kind of felt this like 
not like a masculine energy, but like, I just felt big, like the, just like the one word and not even in like a negative way. I just knew I was bigger. I was probably stronger. I like just was bigger. And so then I think, I don't know, like once I started like really getting, you know, where I wanted to be with, with makeup and things like that. And people would always be like, I love your energy. Like, you know, and, and I know that, that there's certain things that like, obviously physical appearance, like has nothing to do with your energy and your vibe and like how you make people feel about themselves. But I felt like the, it became harder and harder where I was almost like having to force good energy. Cause I just really didn't feel it inside. Cause I didn't, wasn't happy with my body and like myself, but I was trying to give off this like image of that. I did love everything. And that I was super happy, even though I'm like, I know I'm unhealthy. I know I'm like overweight. Like, and, and again, like I'm still not where I want to be, but like we've seen, I already just feel so much better. Like every day I wake up, I have natural energy, like I'm more motivated and it just feels good. Like none of my pants fit. Like I'm like, okay, like I'm seeing, I'm seeing the changes, but yeah, I feel like I, I don't want to force it. I'm not a fake person. And I was like, oh, I hate that. I'm like giving off this impression and I would hate to influence some young girl or boy who thinks that it's okay to be unhealthy like that. You know what I mean? I would hate to to be the reason that they're like, oh, you know, and it's like, yeah, you can love your body at all different sizes, but I guess I just wanted to really like make the changes so that I could feel like my best self. Yeah, it's all about you. And Kaylee, how did you help her with this? So I saw a post where she's saying you're so empathetic and you help her so much. And it really is a mental thing getting in shape. It's really the inside out and the outside in. It works together. Totally. And I think when we, when we first, obviously we knew each other before we, you know, first got started, but it was definitely working from the outside in and the inside out. I think once we got going and you started, you started seeing change and feeling change, you wanted to keep coming back for more. And we do have our hard days. Some days, some days you're like running to the gym. Other days you're like, I don't, I don't want to do this. But I think having someone that cares and that, like you said, empathizes and just can really pull out the positive things about you. Like I'm always like, yes, yes, bitch, let's go. We got this. And it just kind of brings, brings your energy through. If it was constantly, you know, negative and really hard on you, obviously the workouts are hard. Hello. Mm -hmm. But you know, you have to, you have to kind of give, have that give and take. We're like, what did we say earlier? Like a therapist almost it's like a life coach in a way We're like, we all have our bad days, but I'm still always going to be here to cheer you on because ultimately I want, I want the best for you. And I want you to feel, I want you every time you look in the mirror to feel your best self, even if it's not your best day, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nicole earlier, you were always doing other people's makeups or you were doing, you were kind of more behind the scenes and you wanted to kind of do something yourself and come in front of the screen. What sparked you to make that change? Well, honestly, I feel like I, so I've been behind the scenes pretty much my whole life. But then up until I would say maybe like five years ago, I started getting asked to do more stuff on camera. And I felt like, okay, sure. But then looking back at the footage, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I didn't, you know, you, you see yourself in the mirror, but it doesn't look like when you see yourself in a video. <laughs> you know? So I was like, whoa, that's what I look like. But it just kind of hit me. And I was just like, I can't live in fear. And I, I do love to teach. And like now, I mean, ever since I've made that decision to kind of show more of my personality on online and things like that, um, I, I mean, I go live for my company Morphe for three times a week and I do like to host and I, I do enjoy being in front of the camera. And so I was like, I want to look back at footage and feel proud and feel happy and focus on what I'm saying and the, the message and the motivation versus just being so hard on myself. Like, girl, you don't look good. You look unhealthy, you look uncomfortable. Like, and that's kind of like how I felt. So I think really having like a, a moment with myself of like, how does this make you feel? Do you feel like you look good when you look at it? And, mm -hmm. and I didn't, and I know that I didn't feel good. So, um, that was it. And then also like, um, I know we're going to kind of eventually get to pout, but this beauty bar that I opened in North Hollywood, right next door, there's a personal gym. It's like a private training gym. And me and the owner, Mac Fit, we're like really close friends. And like, he was always like, come work out at the gym. Like, come work out if you want. Like, it's, you, you can come. Like, we have trainers. Like, I'll train you. Like, whatever. And I was, I was like, no, I was intimidated because it was like, it's a celebrity private training gym, you know? So I'm like, I don't, I don't know. You're but I think, yeah, well, I mean, but he was like, dude, come on. Like, and I think it just, it, it's not that that was the, 
I think that was the last little straw where I was like, I have no excuse. Like I live on this street that Pal and the gym are. So I, I live right here. I can walk there. There's no excuse. And I have, a, and then when I introduced Kaylee to Mac, they ended up bonding and then she became one of his trainers at the gym. So I was like, okay, now my, one of my best friends <laughs> is literally a trainer at this private gym that I have access to with like custom equipment. Like what better time, you know? And I, I was on this high of feeling so accomplished and I, I still feel it, but like, I'm so proud of what I've created here and like the family that I've created and the artists that we have and the successes that we've had. And like, I was just on this high of like my life. I love my life. Like, I was just like, how can I like make it better? And I was like, I got to feel healthier. I want to feel like my best self so I can keep going and keep inspiring and keep teaching and not feel like uncomfortable or self-conscious and put like, horrible food in my body like every day so yeah I, I think that was kind of the the thing I, I'm always like I'm so grateful that there's a gym next door because I don't know that this like what are the chances and, yeah like what are the chances and at that point in my life when I really felt like so good I was on this high and it like it just helped propel it and I was like all right this is the moment I'm not gonna overthink it we're just gonna start working out like that's yeah what we're gonna do, so. it literally happened like overnight remember we yeah. were up at her apartment which is like right right around well not anymore but her old apartment down the street and we were up there and we, I came down, we ran into Mac and it was literally like right away it happened. It was all like boom, boom, boom. I just think it was meant to be. Yeah. And I feel like what you said too with, I feel like what really, we really talked about in the beginning too was like, you have to fill your cup up first before you can help anybody else. I feel like you were almost at that like, like bringing out the washcloth. You were, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you could not do, you could not look at another makeup brush. And then yeah. once we like, you know, really focused on you and put you like under the microscope. I feel like it kind of like everything else opened up, you know? Totally. It's really like the secret to like success. Do you like, so you've been so successful in your career, you know, doing all of these different things. Do you notice like, a, do you do like a similar like routine to get in shape and to achieve those goals as you did the others are you noticing any similarities between the two like once you put them together because sometimes you're focusing on fitness and you're like you know this is so hard but you've unlocked like the code to one sort of success is it kind of similar mentally the other way yeah 100 percent. it's just consistency it's just getting up and going and i think that's the thing too that i'll tell my artists like at consistency related to makeup it's like stay consistent, keep creating, keep reaching out to people. Don't stop sending emails and trying to get, you know, the next job and networking. And it's just being consistent online and behind the scenes, like what you're doing on, at home to email and like really keep your name in the right people's head to refer you to big jobs, producers and directors and things like that. And it's the same exact thing with working out. It's like the second you just make it a priority. And like, I, even like today I was, I was 10 minutes late to my, like <laughs> our zoom meeting this morning. <laughs> I was tired. I was laying in bed and I'm like, oh my God. Then I woke up and it was like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm late. But I still got up and I still did it. Even I'm like, I'd rather work out for the 50 minutes than, than nothing, you know? So it, it's just having that, like, I have to stay consistent. And that's like, I think consistency is literally the key to any kind of success. You just have to stay consistent and, and know that you will see results if you do. And it just takes, takes a while, you know? Yeah. What do you notice like about mindset changing? Like, Kaylee and Nicole like do you have any negative thoughts you had before workout that you notice after working out it's almost like a meditation and now you kind of look at yourself and think not as harsh as you did before the mean negative thoughts are kind of transforming yeah 100% I mean I feel like um like well I'm curious to hear yours too Kel because you you are someone who kind of already has accomplished so much of your own fitness goals like I know you what you were before and now what you are now and you've had your own body transformation that you didn't have like crazy weight to lose but you completely changed your body so I'm, I'm actually curious to see what you say for this too but um yeah I feel like I just noticed like I like the feeling of after my workout I have so much energy and then now I have this routine where like after I work out, I go make my breakfast. I make my after like my protein shake. And like, I just have a routine and it became fun. And I'm like, this is how I start a good day. Like I have to go do this. And that's how my day is going to go well. Cause I'm going to feel accomplished. Like I did something for myself already. I can feel like I didn't waste the day kind of a thing. So yeah, I think I just turned off the like 
negative thoughts. And I'm like, what am I going to do about it though? Like, yeah, you don't feel good about yourself today or like you feel fat today or whatever, but like, what, so what are you going to do? Like, you're just going to sit down Like, what's that going to do? Like, so I just had to like be real with myself and like, kind of like bully myself into like, you know, like just get up and do something then. So, and like Kaylee's really good at holding me accountable to you in a nice way. Like you said, she's, she's very empathetic. And I think that's the thing, like she's not intimidating and she pushes me, but she knows what motivates me and what doesn't. And like, I don't do well with someone, someone yelling at me. I will just literally cry and walk away. Like I don't do well with that. So she's very like, you can do this. Like she, she empowers me to know that like I can keep going. So that helps too, to know that like, okay, I'm tired and I'm dragging, but once I get to the workout or like we get on the call, like I know that she's going to keep me going kind of a thing. So, yeah. That's and Kaylee, what is your story? Nicole, um, Nicole was talking all about you have a story um, about um, transformation. Yeah, so I definitely, I'm consistent. First of all, thank you. I love you. Um, <laughs> consistency, I think, is the main form or force behind everything I do. And I feel like we're both kind of the same with, our business and like coming to LA and being a dancer, I was just the exact same. Sending emails constantly, getting in everyone's head. And then mine was kind of the same. Like I got to the point where I was behind, I was, you know, in front of so many people behind the table at auditions and just like, I don't, who am I doing this for? I started doing it for my dance teachers back home and then to win first overall and win all those trophies when I got older. And then I got to LA and it was just to get the job and just to impress everybody else. And I was like, what am I going to do for myself? I have to have something for me and being able to motivate and empower other people gives me that energy. It's not the exact same as being on stage, but it still gives me that. And so I don't know when I, I would, I would like go to audition and then beat myself up, but you can't beat yourself up after a workout. You can't beat yourself up after, you know, motivating so many people. And so I think just, I think, yeah, once you're, once you're done with your workout, you just, you, you feel better and it gives you that a sense of accomplishment for the day. And you're like, okay, I did that. And I did that for me. I can kind of, you know, move on and pushing yourself. I think starting when starting what's manageable, slightly challenging, but still manageable. I think that's where people like misconstrue like, Oh, I'm going to go on this, you know, 30 day challenge or month challenge. I'm going to lose a thousand pounds or something crazy. And it's like, no, let's do what we can do first. And, you know, manage it, get those small goals down. I think that's what I always remind Nicole too. It's like, all right, we got your birthday's coming up. We, we had plans by the time we got to this date, you know, and just kind of reminding yourself, like, you got this, celebrate the little wins. It's not about the end of the road, you know, years down or mm -hmm. months from now. It's about just, you know, every single day consistently doing what's good for you. And it feels good. So that's like the worst part of a workout is that 10 minutes before when you're slowly getting dressed and like forcing yourself to get yeah, there. You don't want to get out of bed. Exactly. And then once you're there, you're like, all right, we're in this. Like, I'm doing this for me. I'm feeling change. I'm seeing change. I'm dripping in sweat. Like, it's just, it's yeah. good, you know? And yeah. I like how you guys are all about being healthy about it because so many people are unhealthy about working out. They don't want to eat. They're working out where it's too much and they're being exactly what you said, hard on yourself, but that's not what it's really, it's about. It's about like, who are you doing this for? You're doing it for you. And I want to show you guys something really funny. It's like, I have my vision board right here. And literally on my board, I have right here, I don't know if you could see it. It says, are you doing what you want to do or what you feel like you should be doing? And do you see the difference? And exactly. like, that's exactly. the question I ask myself. It sounds like that we all have in common and everyone should do, which brings me to my next question. Like, do you have any mottos or advice to your younger self that you kind of want to sh everybody watching to know? I mean, I have like a quote that like my dad told me when I was younger and I always, I'm, I'm sure Kaylee's heard this a million times, but I always share with it, share everyone, um, share it with everyone when it comes to any of my seminars, like my beauty seminars or anything like that, because it's just really helped me like in life. But um, he said, if you treat it like a hobby, it will stay a hobby. And if you treat it like a business, it will become a business. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that's like kind of always stuck with me. And it's like, it's just about the consistency. If you do some like, hobbies, you do every once in a while, but if you're treating something like a business, you do things daily to work towards it. So I think that again, even applies to like, our, applies to our workouts as well. And like, now I feel guilty when I don't go, like even in those moments where I'm like, should I get up? Like, 
I know that if I don't and I sleep till nine or 10, like I'll wake up and I'll feel bad. I'm going to feel guilty. I'm going to feel like I didn't do something for me. And like, it makes me feel bad now. So it's kind of like, I like to hold myself accountable. So it's like, I think anyone that's like very self-motivated and, and I love that you brought up the healthy thing too. Cause I feel like it has, it has to be healthy. It's about making a lifestyle change, you know? And again, it's like you, you do that by treating it like a business and I am my business. Like I am me and that's how things are created and keep running. So I have to be the best me I could be. You know, the biggest thing to invest in is yourself. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You have to put the first thing on your priority list, you know? Yeah. hundred percent. Um, for me, my biggest quote I've always stuck with was never let the fear of striking out, keep you from playing the game. Um, just kind of everything in life. I just, like, what's the worst that could happen? Mm-hmm. Someone's going to say no, or you're going to fall and then get back up and try it again. That's kind of how I've always gone through life in career, in business, in just myself. Like, I was, I just got a bike yesterday and I was so scared to get on my bike. And I'm like, Kaylee, really? What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to fall because you're going to break something or like kill yourself. Like, I can, I can do it, you know, yeah. like simple things like that. Sending emails to people you're nervous to talk to or like reaching out to literally anyone on Instagram. It all seems so crazy, but what's the worst thing that could happen? They're going to say, nope, sorry, or leave you on red. Like, okay. Yeah, or just keep time. reaching out. I have reached out to people That's literally great. for like six years. And then finally they're like, I'll meet with you like six yeah, years later. Yeah. But then they, they know me by then. So it's like, we're exactly. already friends. So you just, you know, you have to, someone eventually opens a door if you knock on enough doors. Yep, exactly. Um, so we only have a few minutes left. So I want to talk about like, what do you guys want to promote? What are you working on? Or what's the biggest message you want to share? Um, yeah, I guess um, I'm, I'm always doing something. But I just wrapped up. Uh, so given, you know, the state of the world right now, and what's going on with COVID, um, we had to kind of get creative, me and my team here. And I had to obviously shut down my beauty bar temporarily, which is in the background. It's called Pout Beauty Bar. And we're here in North Hollywood. Um, hopefully we'll be open again soon. But in the meantime, we've been doing virtual classes taught by me um, on Zoom, actually. And so last week I did four of them and I had like over 200 plus students. And it it went really well. So I'm going to um, be putting more of those on sale soon. So if anybody's looking to learn some new tips or tricks or just kind of hang out with a bunch of girls and guys with similar interests and sense of humor and listen to me talk for two hours. And um, yeah, it's really, they're really rewarding and really fun. And uh, me and Kaylee also have been going live every Saturday or mostly every Saturday um, doing live workouts together. So I'm really just trying to show my audience um, who are beauty lovers and makeup lovers that um, it, there's more to it. And I feel like now there's been so many tutorials out, like everyone knows how to do a smoky eye. Everyone can do a wing liner. It's more so like, what are, what, it, what is my brand? And my brand is promoting health and wellness and creativity, but I'm more than just makeup. So, um, it's been really nice to kind of show that side too. So, uh, yeah, in the meantime, just doing my thing, working for Morphe. Um, I work for Morphe Brushes as their director of artistry. So still keeping busy with them and um, doing, we're going to start to be doing some more campaigns here pretty soon. So. Thank you so much. I'm going to have you guys send me the link so I can link it yeah. all below. It's just like a manifestation to have you guys here. What about you, Kaylee? What are you working on and where can um, people find that? Uh, so yeah, same kind of thing. Given everything that's going on right now, I have all of my clients doing one-on-one sessions via Zoom. I have at-home programs and monthly membership programs. You can find all on my website, kayleyhatfield.com. But same kind of thing. I'm trying to just, I feel like there's so much stress happening in the world right now. I'm trying to also show on my platform that there's more than just workout, workout, workout and being constantly motivated. We have ebbs and flows in life. Clearly like there is right now, no one thought this was going to happen. Um, so just trying to be positive and put positive energy out into the world. There's more than just having to be perfect robot workout, eat healthy. It's about, you know, living life and still having fun and on your bad days, how to become, you know, the best, the best you. Mm -hmm. So all that's just on my Instagram, Kaylee underscore Hatfield. Guys on my show, this is what we're all about. There's no, like if people are watching this video and you guys are here, there's, there's a reason for that. We're all brought together. So Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time for the next dose of bliss. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.